Continuing on, my dog. What is this blue thing? I actually didn't get to see what the blue thing was in my first playthrough, so I actually kind of want to see what this is. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Right. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky? I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Maybe. I'm just gonna stay silent. I picture. saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What okay. are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Radia. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Alright. <sighs> We're in our last chance. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. Oh. What? Great. <laughs> but we're on to we can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. Yeah. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? I think we're on the wrong side. <laughs> what if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Hmm. They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. Hmm. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Oh, no shit. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. <laughs> sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Come on. Come on, Hank. Key to the basement is on my desk. <laughs> Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Go on, go on. Connor, what are you doing? Fuck. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus. Okay, I've never done this before. All of this now is new to me. Come on, come on. Hank's password. Hmm. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Fucking password? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously.
Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Sample voice. <laughs> I knew! This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. <laughs> Alright, let's get him. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? <laughs> I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. <laughs> I came to take you home. <gasps> Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Yeet. R2. Square. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! Rip. We got what we need. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Whoa! What? Oh my god. What? No, fuck. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> Sort and die, bitch. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 